she didn't. No, she didn't. What's going on, guys? Boater by Reacts here, and we are back with another episode of Vikings. Today, we're going to be doing episode 9 of Vikings. Hopefully, hopefully, there is a hope that I might just finish up the season today. To look out for it. If it does happen, if it is, whatever. Anyways, man, let's jump into this episode. Let's review from last episode. Last episode was a, they're, they're heading back to England. They he, No, they are in England, right? They are in England. And Aethel Wolf met up with Ragnar himself. And they made a deal because... Um, the, um, King Edward sent him a message letting him know that Athelstan is still alive, right? So, Ragnar's hopes are up. But, at the end of the episode, we saw what happened. Aethelwolf and his men got ambushed by freaking King Horik's son. And that's where we are right now. Which I think is incredibly dumb because now they're going to be fighting for no freaking reason. Yes, my dude, I understand. They killed your son. They killed your son. I get it, man. I get why he wants revenge. But they could have get in there. Trojan horse. It could have been a better situation. Uh, now you got a full on one. Now they're going to be even more prepared for your stupidity. I'm mad. I'm mad about this because who knows what King Hector can do because of this. Who knows what he could do because of this. He could turn around and just kill Athelstan. He could find another priest that can deal with that Roman shit. He could. Right? Right? So my thing is is this man when it comes on to to Vikings there's some other stuff that I that I that I want to talk about outside of reactions and stuff which I'm going to do a recording just get some things off my chest if you guys agree disagree whatever that video is coming um so yeah man let's go watch this episode because I want to go see what's the aftermath of this foolishness that King Hori decided to do. Because I think they could have Trojan horse it, get Hathleston back, and then take out a take out and even maybe even defeat him. Maybe even get King Edward to let down his guard. You know what I'm saying? I, I, and take him out. But no. We're in this shithole now. So let's jump into this episode, man. Um hope you guys are enjoying the reactions, you guys are showing a lot of love to these reactions, man. And I really do appreciate it. Um, so thank you, guys. I know I don't have a huge audience for my TV shows that I that I watch on the channel. It's not a huge audience. I think the biggest audience I had was even with... Even Chernobyl got a lot of love. Um, I'm behind on a lot of stuff that I watch, and maybe that's the reason why I don't get as many views as much as... as a lot of creators, um, or I should say reaction channels, um, because I really don't believe that you're really a creator if you're a reactor. Um, let's just be honest. You're not really. And we like, <laughs> you know, I've watched some reaction channels and I'll be looking at them like, I know you did not make it seem like this shit is hard to do. <laughs> I just be laughing sometimes because I'll be like, sometimes they be talking and be like, you know how much work it takes? I was like, listen, man, if you're if you're putting on like one episode a day, that ain't work. OK, that ain't work. You ain't doing nothing special. OK, in your reactions. Yeah, it might take you an hour, maybe a couple of hours to edit your videos, but it's still not that big a deal. It's still not that big a deal. I'm doing, I mean, in comparison, comparison to a lot of people, I'm doing a lot more than a lot of people. And I still don't think I'm doing that much 
to call my channel or call myself a YouTube creator. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So that's just where I'm coming from. You know what I mean? If any of you guys out there doing reactions, don't make it seem like it's a lot of work because you guys know it's not a lot of work because a lot of times, a lot of these people, they're not even editing their videos. Like, I don't do much editing. Like, for my intros and outros, I usually do them in one take. So it's really just putting it together in the editing program and just putting it out there. <laughs> you know, the thing that takes, the, the reason why my stuff takes long is because I'm doing it for multiple different, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for BitChute, I'm doing it for the Google Drive, so I have to wait on the stuff to be processed on the Google Drive. And all that stuff is just uploading. I don't have to edit any of it, right? The stuff that I do have to edit and put on the channel, like, that's the reason why, like, my read-throughs for Berserk, they take mad long for me to put them out like i'll record them today and it takes me two to three days to put them out because that takes a lot of editing because i have to edit in sound effects and all of this other stuff so that takes a lot of effort right a lot of these dudes out here they're not they're making it seem like you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'll be laughing sometimes when i hear them talk oh my god it's such hard work and they put out like one episode a week <laughs> of the show you know what i mean they, they they react to like one show as i said man i have a lot to talk about so make sure you check that video out when it comes out okay um there's a lot of stuff i want to address um just to get some stuff off my chest man you guys are like a sounding board sometimes this community is lit as fuck so it's whatever so let's jump into this reaction man i'll just rant for like three minutes <laughs> anyways let's jump into this I will see you guys for the review. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment when you get back. Make sure you come back and check out the review. All right, so here we are, man. Viking Season 2, Episodes 9 and 10. 10 being the season finale, of course. Anyways, man, it's been... It's cool beans. It's cool beans, man. I like how they wrapped up the season, got rid of the biggest threat they had at right now, which um, was King Horik. I really started to dislike that dude. Um, I don't think they should spear the sun. I I really don't. Um, in episode nine, yeah, I like how things was resolved even after the battle. The battle. Um, that happened in episode 9 was all because King Horik just wouldn't listen. He caused the, the, the foolishness in the same same way. You get what I'm saying? Because it's not about any good leader knows it's, it, it's it's not about conquering as much as negotiating. You get what I'm saying? Because you got tons of land. You know what I'm saying? If that's all they want, you know what I'm saying? And it will keep them from keep yourself from fighting and losing lives and sending men into war to lose lives and stuff like that and all they want is land and i guess back then they had a ton of land <laughs> you know what i'm saying like land that is not occupied they had a ton of it so and if that's all they want if if, if you're dealing with a man who can we reason with because if you understand where he's coming from which is they don't have fertile land where they're from, and that's all they really want. Why can't you just give them a, um, a, a part that they can live in? You know what I'm saying? Like, if they're not trying to take over, you know what I'm saying? Now, in, in if that's the case, then, you know, you know, fight being. You know, let the fight be on. But I think... This is going to, in my opinion, I think this is going to make Ragnar and King Edbert really good friends, a good unit, in my opinion. And I think, I think Athelstan is going to end up doing this stuff back for him again. It, this is my prediction of where I think this, where I think the story should go um, versus, you know what I'm saying, where it might go. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, this is my opinion of what my prediction of what I think I, I'm I'm expecting to happen. So I think Hathelstan is going to end up back 
because of this relationship now i think he's gonna end up back over there um you know translating this stuff for him and working with him maybe even bring ragnar in you know what i'm saying like the last thing i expected was for ragnar to be saying the lord's prayer like i never expected that and i get where he's coming from and that's one of the things um that this show does very well is a portrayal of religion um and i'm digging it i'm not gonna lie like i i, I you know if if there was more or if there is let me just say this if there is more than one god why why can't they all just work together they all want the same thing when you look at it when you look at all the religions around the world right they're all based on the same premise more or less you know what i'm saying they all want humankind to be humankind you know what i'm saying and in all of them pretty pretty much i don't know i, I don't want to say all of them as i said i don't want to turn this into a religious talking about relig religion and stuff like that because it's a very touchy subject with most so i'm just giving my two cents based on what you know what i just watched you know what i mean and, and as i said if there is why not just saying you know so i'm not going to discuss my beliefs here because it's conversation is always going to be conversation and i'm going to remain as objective as possible when it comes on to any conversation you get what i'm saying there's some the reason why i don't discuss my beliefs because my beliefs are strong for me you get what i'm saying so i don't want to put that on y'all you understand what i'm saying and and i don't want to really discuss religion on on this channel like if y'all want to discuss that stuff with me and you want to discuss it with me personally you want to know what i believe versus what you believe you can always go on the discord channel hit me up on on a private message and i'll talk to you but i'm not going to discuss it publicly on the channel that's just how i feel about it so when it comes on to what took place in episode nine i think it was great moving forward i'm glad that atheston went back with ragnar went back to katagat that was awesome i love that um so floki did the switcheroo man and that's what i'm saying halfway halfway through the episode I, I when i saw floki i'm like why but, but there's no premise here or there's no reason for him to betray ragnar himself i can understand his feelings toward atheston but there was no reason for him to to um based on what i know they've been setting this up like since like halfway through the season they've been making it seem like floki's going to betray ragnar at some point but i just couldn't see it happen these guys are bros these guys are bros they are bros we've known it coming up from ep from season one episode one man they're bros i'm not saying in the case of Rolo, you get what I'm saying? I get why Rolo betrayed Ragnar. I get it. I get it. But Floki, I just didn't get. I I just I just didn't see it happen. I refused to believe it. And it turns out I was right. Okay? He pulled a switcheroo on, on King Horik. I was like, oh, they ready for y'all. First, when I saw Lagatha, I was like, oh, they ready. Okay, okay. They ready, man. They not they not playing no games. You know what I'm saying? They knew how they knew wasn't really revealed until Floki walked in behind Ragnar. But as I said, I kind of felt like this is going to. I don't think Thurston is really dead, and that was so sweet. I love that scene when I saw him. When I saw him raise up because they thought he was Ragnar. Oh, that was nice because I knew um old boy King Horik was gonna be there. And the look on his face was going to be priceless. Okay, so I really, really loved um, these two episodes was cool, man. Great way to wrap up a season because you don't know what to expect next now. Because there's what's the next storyline now? And it's just cool that they, you know what I'm saying? Like Prune, she, she just wanted some D. That's, that's cool, man. She just wanted some D. And it was so obvious. It's a pent up aggression. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, as I said, it was a little confusing earlier on in the episode when she was talking and she was like, that's your first mistake. And I'm like, okay. So what, you know what I'm saying? It's like you were making it seem, but some of the time, because women, they speak in parables. Let's just be honest. They speak in parables and they expect, they expect you to know what they mean. A lot of women, they do not speak. They do not tell you exactly what they want. Most of the time, especially if you and them is in a relationship, it's even worse, right? Women that don't know you, they're strangers, they're a little bit more straightforward. But when you're in a relationship with women, they tend to speak in parables. They stand, they tend to do that and expect you to just read between the lines and know exactly what they mean. When she said now she has a choice, she was not talked, she was not saying to Bjorn, now I can choose somebody else, whoever I want. You know, in turn of saying or saying that, you know, what I'm saying my my um when I was a slave, I didn't have a choice but to love you. What she was basically saying to him was that now I can actually choose you. You get what I'm saying? Um, because I'm not a slave, because I'm not really forced to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what she was saying in not so many words, but Bjorn didn't get it. I didn't get it either <laughs> at at that point, but yeah, this, this is how it is. It's women in a nutshell. Yeah, <laughs> you know, um, if they could fit in a nutshell, the, their attitude um, and their ways, it's a vast variety. Let's just put it like that. But they're still cool. I still can't live without them. I'm being honest. I, you know, I'm. I'm so into to women like I don't care how complicated they are. I'm never going to switch up. <laughs> I'm never going to switch up. I've heard so many men have have switched up because they can't deal with that complication. It's like, dude, no matter what love love is complicated no matter who you loving. Okay? It's complicated. Relationships are complicated no matter who it is. It's two, it's two different worlds colliding no matter who it is. So when it comes on to their relationship, I'm glad they made up. Floki was looking kind of shady. They were still shooting the episode as if Floki was going to betray Ragnar. But um, but we all saw what happened at the end. Oh, man. I'm wondering if Lagatha has actually come around to being Ragnar's second wife. Or first. <laughs> or you know, would she be wife number one or wife number two at this point? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Is she going to stay with him? It looks like he slept with both of them that night. It seems like that's what happened. Because that's long is cool, man. She she is like, listen, man, whatever. Let it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes we all wish that we could live in a polygamous world. Marriage, I should say. Um, because, you know, you have men that do have polygamous relationships in the United States. And it's, it's not illegal. You just can't get married to both of them or all of them. <laughs> right. So. I don't know, maybe in some states, maybe I don't know for real. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it is. I think marriage is only to one person in every state in America. I think so. I know in other countries, polygamous relationships are allowed, but. I don't think it is in the United States. If you guys know otherwise, please put it in the comment section. Um, anyways, man, these two episodes was great. They wrapped up this the season finale was awesome. I loved it. Um, and it was just awesome to see the the battle that took place was gruesome. See seeing King Edward using some Roman tactics to overcome them that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so the last episode was epic. King Horik is is dead, and I'm glad he's dead. You know, I'm glad he's out because I was really starting to hate his character. And if they just strung it along for more seasons, it just would have seemed weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, as I said, man, people who um that was a savage move by Siggy though. That was a savage move. I loved it. I loved it. Um, that's probably gonna be my intro. 
for for um for um for the video on YouTube. I'm probably going to do that. Anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It was great, man. Season two was awesome. It was way better than season one. Of course, we had the Blood Eagle, and then we had this. So, and, and I think King Horik is worse than Yarl Borg. I, I don't, you know, I just think he's worse because he's the type that at least Yarl Borg was kind of straight up with what he was doing and how he felt. King Horik was kind of, I want to say he was sneaky with it. He was going on, you know, behind Ragnar's back. Plus, you know what I'm saying? I just think he, he, you know, he w wasn't straight up with it. Like, he wasn't like, oh, let me one-on-one -on -one you or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, let me sneak around and kill you. At least Yal Borg knew what he was doing. He, he straight up just went there and took Kattegat. Ran the wife and the kids out of town while Ragnar wasn't there. It was a, it, it, it was still a, a bitch move. You know what I'm saying? It was still a bitch move, but at the same time, he wasn't sneaking around. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't sneak attack them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The dude just came on a boat and started attacking. It was like, let's get this work done. You know what I mean? So, King Horik just pretended, pretended to be Ragnar's friend, even on the same night. Well, not the same night, but it's like the day before. And he brought his family in. You know what I'm saying? Like, they knew the plan. So... It was a bitch move, man. Let's just—he—he's he, worse than Yarl Borg to me. Um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. But anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in for season two, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You guys have been killing it with the like button, and for those of you who subscribe just for Vikings videos, man. Hopefully we can get to um, a way where we can schedule um, Vikings going forward you know, to be on schedule and stuff like that for the weekends. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time for Season 3, Vikings.